Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In After Effects, if you're trying to preview or render a project, are you getting an error message like this, invalid image buffer size, and some crazy ass numbers? Well, here's one simple way to fix this. But please first, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. So just to demonstrate, here you are working on a project and you just want to preview it. And as you play, everything looks great until all of a sudden, bam, you get this message that says invalid image buffer size. Or if you're trying to render the project, it gives you the same error message in the exact same spot every time. So the first thing you need to do is find that clip where you're getting an error message all the time. And once you do that, open that clip up to see the composition. And you'll be able to see all the effects and the layers that are in that clip. And we need to isolate which layer or effect is causing this error message. So the way to do this is you're gonna to go to the left side where you see the little eye symbol and click the eye so that it disappears, which means that it's going to be removed from the preview and then watch the preview. If the message still comes back, then you'll know that that effect or layer wasn't the problem. So you can click the eye back in, click on a few more, try the preview again and keep doing it until you find the error message disappears, then you can find out which layer or effect is the cause. In my case, I isolated it to layer number 12, text 14. When I removed that from the preview, I was able to play the preview without any error message. As you can see, if I put it back in my preview and I play it, I'll get the error message again. So I found the cause for my error message. Now when I go back to main and I preview the entire project, it plays smoothly without the error message. So basically I removed that text since it was causing the problem. If you still need that text in the scene, you can play around with it, try to change some settings to see why it's causing the problem. But if it's not really that important or it's something that you can add in later on, just remove it from the scene so that at least you don't get this error message anymore and you can continue to work on your project and render it. So that's it. Quick and simple. Hope that helps anyone out there. And please don't forget to give a like, share and subscribe for more until next time.